praise and adoration unto the Lord today. Hallelujah. Indeed, we serve a God who has so many things behind his name, so many accolades. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just magnify him today. Can you just magnify the Lord? Hallelujah. Oh, the songwriter says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Can we just magnify Hallelujah. the Lord? Hallelujah. 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 He is indeed worthy. Amen. And when we think about that today, then we don't want to keep the praises on the inside. Hallelujah. We just want to let it out. Hallelujah. He's excellent. Hallelujah. God, you are excellent yes, in all the earth. We magnify you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We sing this song so often. How great is our God. But can we ever get tired of singing that song? Hallelujah, because we serve indeed a great God. And so we want to do that prayer chorus at this time. How great is our God. Hallelujah, we magnify him today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How great Hallelujah. is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God.
God, then you will shout a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you just lift them up inside here today? Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a Oh, 
because indeed he's a good God. Yes. We're here in his presence once more. He has given us life. He has given us hope. And so today we are here to give him the praise and the glory that is due unto his name. Amen. And so while we are gathered together, let us gather with our hearts right here. Let us not think about what is happening elsewhere, but let us just make it up in our minds to give God the praise today. Amen? Amen. I'll begin by reading Psalm 41. Psalm 41. Blessed is he that considereth the poor, the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth, and thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing, thou wilt make all his bed in his sickness. I said, Lord, be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Mine enemies speak evil of me, when shall he die and his name perish? And if he come to see me, he speaketh vanity. His heart gathereth iniquity to itself. When he goeth abroad, he telleth it. All that hate me whisper together against me. Against me do they devise my hurt. An evil disease, say they, cleaveth fast unto him. And now he lieth, he shall rise up no more. Yea, mine own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, hath lifted up his heel against me. But thou, O Lord, be merciful unto me, and raise me up, that I may requite them. By this I know that thou favorest me, because mine enemy doth not triumph over me. And as for me, thou, will, thou upholdest me in mine integrity, and settest me before thy face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from everlasting and to everlasting. Amen and amen. Here ends the reading of Psalm 41, and we end the reading by saying, Thanks be to God. We'll turn our Pentecostal hymnal to number 145. Number 145. As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow, many arrows pierce my soul from without within, but my Lord leads me on, through him I must win. 195. As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing swords to Calvary, to the crimson flow, many arrows pierce my soul from without within, but my Lord leads me on, through him I must win, oh I want to see him, to look upon his face, then to sing forever of his saving grace, on the streets of glory. 
look upon his face, let us sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares on past, hope and lies, ever to rejoice. When the man is low, I look towards the mountain high. And behold my Savior there, leading in the fight, with a tender hand outstretched towards the valley low. Guiding me, I can see as I onward go. Oh, I want to see him to look upon his face. Let us sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares on past, for my last, ever to rejoice. When before me billows rise from the mighty deep, then my Lord directs my heart, he does safely keep, and he leads me gently on through this world below. He's a real friend to me, oh, I love him so, oh, I want to see him. Look up on his face, let's sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice, cares all past. Let us pray. Mighty God, everlasting Father, the God of all gods, the King of all kings, our Lord, who art in heaven. God, we glorify you, we praise you, we magnify your name. Your name is worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. 
because you are our God. You have created us for that purpose, Lord, and we give you thanks. We thank you today for sparing our unworthy lives, for giving us this opportunity to be yet again in your house. We invite your presence as we come to worship you, Lord God, to make you the center of our worship, the center of our praise, because you have done great things for us. We are off. We are glad. We thank you today for sparing our lives. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us hope and life and salvation and for giving us an inheritance amongst those who are saved and sanctified. God, we glorify your name. God, we praise you. God, we lift you up. There is no God like you. Hallelujah. None above you, none beneath you, none before you, none behind you, none beside you, Lord Jesus. You are the sovereign God of heaven. And to you belong all praise and honor and glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a great God you are. We thank you for today, Lord Jesus. Come in your sweetness. Come in your goodness. Come in your might. Come in your amen, oh God, your pleasure. Hallelujah. And bless your people. Extend to us, Lord Jesus, favor today. Oh God, we need to hear from you. We need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, Lord, what will we do? We want you more each day to show us your perfect way. There is no other way that we can live. We pray today, Lord Jesus, that you might send a word for your people. Hallelujah. Amen. A word from heaven to Amen. Soothe, Lord God, our sicknesses, to heal our diseases. Oh God, to put us in our right frame of mind. Oh God, we long, oh God, to hear your voice. And for your spirit to be poured out, Lord Jesus, to burn out sin and just. So that, God, we might be better persons today. When we leave this place, we might all say it was good for us to be here. We pray for our community of Malta. And in the name of Jesus, we pray, God, for those that are sick. And bedridden, we pray for those on the street corners, in the field, in the gambling den, in the warehouse, in whatever house they might be. In the name of Jesus, we pray for those who have turned away from the faith. Hallelujah. Those who have, amen, gone back to the world. Oh God, we pray that a word might, amen, be sent from your presence, Lord, and your sanctuary to somebody's heart to understand, amen, to make them understand, Lord, that you're coming back is near at hand, just around the corner, and they are not saved. Lord, hell is enlarged. Hallelujah. Amen for the ungodly. Amen for the backsliders and the workers of iniquity, for the sinners, and all that make it a lie and do evil. Oh, God, we pray that your people might have, Lord Jesus, ears to hear and eyes to see. Hallelujah. Even now, God, and they might turn from their sinful backsliding way. We pray, God, for this country of Jamaica. For the leaders in government and opposition, we pray, God, for those that are in the hospitals, those that are sick, those that are in the different communities under the threat of violence. In the name of Jesus, we come against, Lord God, those that, amen, require blood. Hallelujah. And evil, Lord, the gunman, the knife man, the rapist. Lord Jesus, you see what our country has become. Oh, God, there's violence all over. There's violence in the streets. Violence, Lord God, amen, in the homes. Oh, God, hallelujah. But we stand in the gap today for this nation, beautiful country, and which, oh, God, your name is lifted up daily. Hallelujah. We pray for those that stand in the gap today. Amen. Give them patience. Give them grace. Oh, God, hallelujah. Amen. And the spirit, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, of commitment and the zeal of your house that they might continue to lift you up in the streets, in the churches, in the homes, wherever they might find opportunity to lift up your name, oh God. We pray a blessing on your people and a blessing on your nation. Remember those that are in the hospitals and in Bellevue, oh God, wherever they are today in this nation, every nook and cranny, Lord God, send a word, Lord, to your servants, Lord Jesus, a word for this nation that men and women might know that thou art still God. God, we pray today that your presence might be in this house. In the name of Jesus, to pull down every stronghold. Oh God, every plans of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, amen, to bring salvation, to bring life, Lord. Amen, to a soul that is still languishing. Amen, on the sidewalk of sin and indecision. <coughs> Bless, Lord Jesus, your people today. Hallelujah. Amen. Let every stronghold be pulled down. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be magnified, Lord Jesus. Amen. That today a soul might be saved for your kingdom. Bless the one that stand at the table. Hallelujah. To start the service. Remember, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Amen. The unsaved, as I pray for them again today. Remember those, oh God, amen, the women of this church. We put them in your divine presence, Lord. Amen, as they try to live for you. Take over the service now, Lord. Let your presence be felt. We pray for those that are in the different, oh God, and, and Facebook. Those are listening to us today. Lord Jesus, they have a, 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 the opportunity to be elsewhere. But I pray a blessing on their lives. I pray a blessing on their families. I pray a blessing on their relationships, Lord. Amen. Let them feel your divine presence wherever they are. Bless today, Lord, and let their prayers be answered as we put this service in your hands and we say thanks for hearing from you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We continue to worship Hallelujah. the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We continue to worship the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Indeed. It was said some time ago that we should get it right. And last week it was said that we should reposition ourselves. And so today we are here. And those who will hear, those who have ears to hear, they will hear. And so we are here today to give God the praise. Amen. Our scripture lesson comes to us from Daniel chapter 1. Reading from verse 1 through to verse 21. And I'd ask Sister Giselle to conduct the reading for us. Praise Jesus, everybody. Our scripture reading is taken from Daniel chapter 1, reading from verse 1 to the end. If you find it, please say amen. Here the beginning. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into the hand which part of the vessels of the house of God, which had carried into the land of Shirinar to the house of his God. And he brought the vessel into the treasure house of his God. And in the king, and the king spake unto Ashkenaz, the master of the eunuch, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of, his, of the princes, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in, skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding signs and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldees. And the king appointed them a daily portion of the king's meat and, and of the wine which he drank, and so nourishing them three years that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. Now among these were the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, unto whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names, for he gave unto Daniel the name of Belshazzar, and unto Hananiah of Shadrach, and unto Mishael of Meshach, and unto Azariah of Abednego. And Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of, of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he pressed of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now God had brought Daniel in, into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. And the prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, I fear my lord the king, whom had, whom had appointed your meat and your drink, for why should he see your faces 
verse like in than the, the children which are of your sort. Then shall he make me endanger my head to the king. Then said Daniel to Melchizedek, whom the prince of the eunuchs had set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, prove thyself servants, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us pulse to eat and drink, water to drink. Then let the countenance be looked upon before thee, and the countenance of the children that eat the portion of the king's meat, and as thou seest, deal with thy servant. So he consent to them in this matter and prove them ten days. And at the end of the ten days, their countenance appeared fairer and fatter in the flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. Then Melzar took away the portion of their meat and the wine that they should drink and gave them pulse. As for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Now at the end of the days that the king had said he should bring them in, then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. And the king communed with them, and among them all, the, all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Therefore stood they before the king, and in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in in all his realm, 21 and ending, and Daniel continued even unto the first king of the king of Cyrus. This is the word of the Lord, and we honor it by saying thanks be to God. Hallelujah. We continue to worship the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We continue to praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are going to praise him today. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing again number 180. Standing by a purpose true, heeding God's command. Honor them the faithful few, all hail to Daniel's band. Dear to be a Daniel, dear to stand alone, dear to have a purpose firm, and dear to make it known. Amen. There are going to be times when we will have to stand alone. Amen. But as the scripture says, as for me and my host, we are going to serve the Lord. Standing by a purpose true, heeding God's command. Honor them, the faithful few, all hail to Daniel's band. There to be a Daniel. Dare to stand alone, dare to have a purpose firm, dare to make it known. Many mighty men are lost, daring not to stand. Who for God has been a host by joining Daniel's band? Dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone.
Hallelujah. Are we going to praise God today? Are we going to thank the Lord for his goodness today? And so we are going to forget about ourselves and worship the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Indeed, God woke us up this morning. All together in our right minds. Amen. It, it could have been otherwise. It is a possibility that we could be lying down wanting to get up and we can't get up. Amen. And so we come into the house of the Lord today and when we look around, we see some empty benches, right? And we are thinking about some persons that wonder why they can't, they don't come to church. Amen. But today we are going to forget about who, those persons who are not here. And we are going to praise God so that they who are not here can feel that something good is happening. Amen. Because God blessed us this morning with life. And so we are going to give him the praise. Whatever you brought into the house of the Lord today. However you come into the house of the Lord today. We are going to give God the best of what we have today. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we are here. We do not know if we are going to be here tomorrow. If there is a tomorrow. And so we are going to praise God for today. Hallelujah. Because indeed God is a good God. And he's worthy of our praise. Amen. Amen. So let us praise him today. Because indeed he deserves our praise. At this time I'll ask Sister Kamika to bring greetings and welcome in Jesus name. Amen. Can we continue to praise the Lord Jesus? Hallelujah. Let us just take a few, well, about one more minute to praise him. Psalm 150 says, praise him for his mighty acts. You know the mighty acts of the Lord, what he has done? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He took the children of Israel across the Red Sea. He opened it so that they could walk on dry land. He held them out of the lions when Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. Paul and Silas was in prison. Hallelujah. What happened when they praised the Lord? The gates of the prison was opened. That's some mighty acts of the Lord. Can we praise him today for his mighty acts? Hallelujah. The psalmist also says, praise him for his excellent greatness. Hallelujah. Can we praise him today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then the psalmist continue to tell us how we can praise him. We praise him with the cymbal. We praise him with the harp. We praise him with the what? Timbrel. We praise him with our dance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, we know how to dance and praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Let me see your dance and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord with your dance today. Hallelujah. Musicians, you can find the trumpet. Hallelujah. And the harp. excellent greatness and his mighty acts hallelujah and whatever it is that we have we are going to praise him with the psalmist says let everything that hath breath praise the lord do you are you breathing today hallelujah hallelujah that means you can praise him so as for the remainder of the service that means your mouth should not be closed because you are breathing you have breath you can praise the Lord. Can we keep the praise ringing to our mighty hallelujah. God today? Hallelujah, hallelujah. He is hallelujah. indeed worthy of all the praise today. I stand to bring greetings today. I want to first greet our pastor, Elder Channer, Lady Channer, all the officers present. We have Evangelist Clark, Missionary Gail, and we have other ministers, Deacon Allen, amen. We greet all our ministers in Jesus' name. I also want to greet you, the lovely saints, 
saints of God that is seated in the presence of the Lord today. Amen. Can you shout a praise? Hallelujah, saints of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We also have some other officers who are engaged with the children. Amen. In Children Church, we have Missionary Allen, and we also have, I believe, Evangelist Newton is here. Oh, she's not here today. Amen. So wherever she is, we greet her in Jesus' name. Amen. We're also happy today to have saints worshiping with us online, and that is Facebook. Amen. And today, hallelujah, I just want, as I call the names, that you just shout a praise unto God for all of these persons. I'm looking at the list, and we have some repeated persons who continue to join us Sunday after Sunday, and we really want to give thanks for them, and we hope that in listening online or watching us online, they will be blessed. Amen. We have our ever-present Everton Morgan. Can we shout a praise for him? Hallelujah, hallelujah. We also have our ever-present Delia Johnson. Delia Johnson is from here in Malta. And hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We have Carol Sangster, another of our, what we call it, a homeborn person. Amen. Hallelujah. Shout a praise for Carol. Hallelujah. We have Beverly Johnson joining us. We have Mr. Adams joining us online today. We have Christine McLean joining us also. Hallelujah. We have Peter Gay Gordon. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to hear the praise for the persons, them online. Hallelujah. And we also have our very own as well, June Charlton, online today. Hallelujah. We bless God. Amen. We thank God for the opportunity to bring the service to persons who are not able to join us in the sanctuary. Amen. So COVID bring good things and bad things. Amen? Amen. Because if it wasn't for COVID, I'm sure we would have just been here in the sanctuary and not thinking about the others who we are able to reach. But bless God, COVID has allowed us to be able to stream our service online. Hallelujah. Amen. And we give God thanks for that. And as we are here today and those persons who are online, let me invite you today to have a wonderful time worshiping the Lord. Amen. Don't let anything hinder you from praising the Lord. Amen. When you think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done, then all that you should want to do is cry out, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We also want today to extend, I guess we're putting it out there. Amen. Amen that our beloved Pastor Channer and Lady Channer is celebrating their 34 years of wedding anniversary. Amen. Hallelujah. And we bless God for them, sir and ma'am, and we, we pray that you will continue to grow in love. Amen. Amen. We, yeah, we pray for that, but that's a given. Amen. <laughs> Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. So we bless them today and we are happy that they have been our leader for so long. Amen. Leading us so faithfully. Amen. So we bless God for having them with us and we celebrate with them today. Hallelujah. Amen. Over to our moderator in Jesus' name. Yes, God, let us praise the Lord Jesus. Come on, man, let us jump up and shout a praise for Jesus. Because how great is our God. Hallelujah. How great is our God. Hallelujah. You know, when I look around and when I look at God's beauty, and you look around and you see the trees, and you see land, and you see water, and you see houses, and you see cars, and you see everything. You can say how great is our God. God says, let there be, and there was. He said, let there be, and there was. He separated the light from the darkness. He said, let there be. Today, God is a 
great God. And so here's what. is the same God that you and I are associated with. Amen. And so because he's such a great God, we are here to give him the praise. Amen. At this time, it is a time of praise. A time of and for those of us who are here, we are going to be praising the Lord. But before we do so, we are going to be asking, today is Ladies Sunday, and we are going to be asking all the ladies at this time to stand and to repeat our motto, amen? And we thank the, the gentlemen that are here today. Ladies, I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. Amen? Amen. Amen. We can do all things, although sometimes we doubt ourselves. Amen? Amen? Doubt ourselves a whole lot. But we can do it. Amen? Amen? Amen. Now it's going to be a time of praise. For a few minutes, we are going to take time out to praise the Lord. And so, to the praise team in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know if you feel excited today about praising the Lord. Amen. God is good. If not good, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can praise him today. Sister Clara, just talk about how he's a God of sin. Let there be. Hallelujah. We also can praise him because guess what? He is our refuge and our strength. No, sir? Hallelujah. And the songwriter says, when the storms of life are raging over me, what God has provided or made himself a rock that we can hide in. Hallelujah. And so today as we sing that song, I want us to sing it with meaning and give God thanks for his for being our refuge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the storms of life are raging over me in the rock I'll hide. Sing it again. When the storms of life are raging over me
of the Lord, rooted and grounded by the Holy Ghost. And if you want to go to heaven, you must be rooted and grounded, rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord. Oh, rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord. Soil, but our roots will have to be dug deep into the word of the Lord. Amen. We have to be grounded by the Holy Ghost. And so today, as we sing, let us let us think about what we are singing. Rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord. So when the storms of life are raging over me, then we know that we are rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord. Amen? And so today, I want you to praise the Lord because he is great and greatly to be praised. Amen? At this time, we are going to be taking a very brief exhortation from Sister Georgia. In Jesus' name. Shall we continue to praise Jesus? Shall we continue to praise Jesus? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Jesus! Jesus, be a fence all around me every day. Jesus, I want you to protect me. As I travel along life way, Lord, I know you can. Yes, I know you will. Fight my battle if I just be still. Be a man all around me 
from Ephesians chapter 6 and I'll be reading from verse 10 to 12. Hallelujah, Jesus. Ephesians chapter 6 reading from verse verse first reading from verse 10 to verse 6 to verse 12, sorry. Finally my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole harm of God, that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is the word of the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning, I'm talking to you about spiritual warfare. Praise Jesus. And it's a fight that we can win. Praise Jesus. In this spiritual journey, I want to offer us, brothers and sisters, a few methods we can use in spiritual warfare. The first thing we need to do is establish a regular prior life. Praise Jesus. That's right. A regular prior life. I want us to set aside specific throughout the day whereby we can concentrate on God. So that means we don't need any cell phones. Praise Jesus. We don't need any television. We don't need any radio or internet. Praise Jesus. Just you and God and one on one. Praise God. When we establish the right spiritual connection, you are empowering your, yourself to excel. Praise God. The second thing you need to do in your fight is to allow God to order your steps. Praise Jesus. It sounds easy. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's not easy to walk. But let me tell you, if you walk by God, you will walk the walk and you will talk the talk. Praise Jesus. It is, he said, how he 
said it. Anything you follow God, the enemy uses distractions. And he will distract you in any way he can for you to fall. Praise Jesus. Don't fall into the trap of the enemy. Another tactic that he will throw at us is excuses. Don't make them at all. There are so many times we have things to do and we let the devil put excuses in the way. If we even if we are to come to church, there are going to be excuses. If we are to come to Bible class, there come excuses. If we even come to clean the church, there comes excuses. But let me tell you something. We need to put away excuses from our lives. The poem of excuse says excuse are a tool of incompetence meaning lacking ability which builds monument of nothingness meaning a stone or a tombstone he always he also let us find excuses when we are to do a lot of things. We cannot, there are so many things that the devil finds for us to do. He always has so many excuses. 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 Oh God. So many. If we are to do this, he said do that. If we are to go here, he said go there. There are so many excuses that the devil uses at us. But we should read excuses from our life. But in the writing to the, the people of Ephesus, the Apostle Paul penned these words. Put on the full armor of God so that we can take our stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggles is not against flesh and blood. It is not against you and you and you. Because a lot of times we think it's about the person. But it is not the person. But it is the devil that enters into that person. That let that person do what that person do to you. Praise Jesus. So we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. We are not wrestling against rulers. And against authorities. Against the powers of this dark world. And against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Praise Jesus. Therefore, we must put on the whole armor. Hallelujah. So that when the day of evil comes, we may be able to stand our grounds. And after we have done everything to stand, Please don't miss this. Putting on our spiritual armor. Praise Jesus. I can go back in my mind as to when a Roman soldier is not on battle. He makes sure that his armor it's polished, clean, put in place that when an attack comes, is he is ready because 
When the armor is polished and put and ready, when the battle comes, all he has to do is take down his armor and put on because he's ready for battle. Praise Jesus. Don't allow what is happening on the outside affect how you feel on the inside. Praise Jesus. In a real sense, we need to know we have what the enemy does not have. And what is that? We have the anointing. Hallelujah. The devil does not have the anointing that God gave us, his people. Glory to God. And that is the reason why when we get into the anointing, then so many things happen in the atmosphere. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. This is my word for us. We can win the spiritual warfare, but it is cause it will cause us to be committed and dedicated to God every step of the way. Praise Jesus. We can do it because we are children of God and we have no excuses. Praise Jesus. If you notice, the sixth piece of the armor that Paul discussed in Ephesians chapter 6, it is the sword of the spirit, praise Jesus, which represents the word of God. Hallelujah. When we walk the word, we talk the word, we sleep the word, we awaken in the word. Then we, hallelujah, can know that we are on our way. Hallelujah. We are on our way. We have to dig deep in the word. We have to study the word every day of our life. Minutely, secondly, we have to live in the word because the word is our manual. Hallelujah. And if we don't have the word, we cannot, we don't know how we're going to do good. We don't know how to forgive. We don't know how to go out there and say, we are sorry. Hallelujah. Without the word of God, we can't do nothing. Because it's the word that is planted in us. That is what is going to show forth on the outside. Hallelujah. The word of God is a manual to our life. Glory be to God. And without the word of God, we are nothing. Just like when we are not yet saved. And we don't have the word of God inside of us. We do anything. We go to party. We go to the dance. We dance for now till the morning. Glory be to God. Because we do not have the word of God. But when we get into the word of God. Glory to God. When we come out of the world. Baptized. Fill with the Holy Spirit. Continue. Oh, glory to God. Hey, thank you, Jesus. We continue in reading the word, applying the word of God to our lives. Then we can come out as pure gold. Pure, praise the name of Jesus. So we have to live in the word. We have to love the word also. Because... There are so many times we set aside the word of God and we do our own thing. But let me tell you something. Without the word of God, without the word of God dwelling on the inside of us, we cannot do nothing to please God. 
Without the word of God, we are just like the wind that the that the the wind, the chaff that the wind blow. We are nothing without God, and we are nothing without the word, because it's the word of God that is inside of us. Teach us. The word of God that is inside of us, instruct us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. For a Roman soldier, the sword was served of an offense. Hallelujah. Offensive weapon against the enemies. And if we are lacking in knowledge of God's word, we will struggle to fight against the enemy. And we all know who the enemy is. Amen. amen. That serpent. That same dragon. Yes. Hallelujah. That deceived Eve. That same dragon. Hallelujah. That deceived David. That same dragon. That come to Jesus when he came off the 40 day fast. That's the enemy that we are talking about. Praise the name of Jesus. So, we can win in this fight against the enemy. As long as we have the word of God, this is a fight that we must win. Praise the name of Jesus. This is a fight that we must win. We cannot let the devil win. The devil uses us in so many ways. He fights against us in our marriages. He fights against us with our children. He fights against us with our neighbors. He fights against us in our business. He fights against us in so many aspects of our lives. But let me tell you something. We can win the battle. All we have to do is put on the whole armor of God. We must put on the helmet of salvation. Hallelujah. We must put on the guard of our breastplate. Hallelujah. Put on our belt and guard up our waist. Mighty God. Get our shield so we can withstand the fiery darts. Hallelujah. That the devil is going to throw at us. Glory to God. And with all that, we have to have the sword of God, which is the word of God. Hallelujah. To withstand the wiles of the devil. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. None of us is perfect. But we strive to be perfect. Hallelujah. Because we cannot do it on our own. We have to ask God to hold our hands. We have to ask God to walk with us. We have to ask God to talk to us. We have to ask God to tap in with us. Even in our sleep. When we are asleep. Our subconsciousness should be awake. Glory be to God. Because the devil even come in our dreams. Glory be to God. But let me tell you something. And it's for all of us. I'm not excluding myself. Glory be to God. It's for all of us. We have to win this fight. We have to fight the good fight of faith. We have to hold on to God and change in hands. And don't let go. Because the moment we let go after God's hand, the devil is going to overtake us. And all he's there to do is to kill us. Glory to God. But we are not fighting a losing battle. We are fighting a battle that we can win. So, today, I know I can win. 
And I know that you can win. So let us fight. 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 And never stop fighting. Because the devil is going to come. But we must be prepared. Because no matter what we do. He is always going to be coming. But we have to go ahead of the devil. We have to have tragedy. So when he come upon us, we can know that, yes, this is the devil coming upon us. And we need, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. We need to have tragedies so we can overcome the wilds of the devil. God bless you. You pray my strength in Jesus' name. Amen. We continue to praise the Lord Jesus. We continue to praise the Lord Jesus. We praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Georgia. I think I told her a short exhortation. And so today we are giving God thanks. Thank you, Sister. We're going to be singing just one verse after which our speaker for the day will come. Standing by a purpose true, heeding God's command. Honor them, the faithful few. All hail to Daniel's band. After which our speaker for the day will come. In Jesus' name. Standing by a purpose true, heeding God's command. Honor them, the faithful few, all hail to Daniel's band. Dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone, dare to have a purpose firm, and dare to make it known. Dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone, dare to have a purpose firm, and dare to make it known. We invite our speaker for the day, Sister Kendra Graham, to come at this time in Jesus' name. Dare to be a Daniel, dare to stand alone. for about seven minutes. I hope I don't go over, you know. But today I just want to encourage you from the word of God, Daniel chapter one. And my topic for today is take heart, standing tall like Daniel and the three Hebrew boys. To take heart means to take courage, be confident, be confident, sorry, in whatever you do. And so today, we have been encouraged to put on the whole armor of God. And so today, I'm just encouraging you to just take heart, stand tall. Because in whatever we do, we have to stand up for Christ. If we want to make it in, we must stand up. And so, I wouldn't want to be going to, he go, be going to heaven and realize that I am not seeing my beloved brother and sisters. So today I'm just encouraging you. Put on the armor. Take heed. Stand like these boys. Because they have met all the different tribulations. Throughout the, the, the chapter of Daniel. First they were taken into captivity. Hallelujah. 
They were taken into captivity. They were tested and tried. But Daniel, he purposed in his heart. And these four outstanding boys, they did not watch what the others were doing because if not all of the boys who were taken into captivity, they were these fours, these four, they were set apart and they made up their heart. They purpose in their heart that, listen, I am not going to defile this body. They are not going to defile their body. They are not going to sin against their God because they, know, they knew what the, 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 Hebrew, um, the Hebrew God, they knew him. And so they did not want to corrupt themselves with the meat, the nourishing meat that the world have to offer them. No, they made up their heart. And Daniel at the forefront, he was there standing tall. Hallelujah. He take courage that listen, we are not, this unit right here, we are not going to defile our vessel. And today, I know we're not perfect. We always hear that. But listen, we have to purpose in our heart that, listen, I am going to work towards perfection no matter what. And you have to be purpose. It is not automatic. Serving God, it is not automatic. You have to put it in. It is a manual thing. You have to put it in your heart that, listen, I am going to serve God no matter what the others are doing. They are going to eat of the world, but I'm not going to eat of the world. Hallelujah. I am going to eat whatever God has put down for me to eat. I am not going to take what the world has to offer. Their meat might seem beautiful, it might, the appearance very attractive and edible, but no. The, the meat that Nebuchadnezzar set forth before the children of Israel, they were offered up, to, up unto idols. But listen, these four boys decide that no, I am going to stand tall. Stand tall above all what is going on. We're going to prove, prove us 10 days. Give us 10 days. We don't need a whole, out of the three years, we just need 10 days to prove that our God can deliver us. Hallelujah. And I, know, and I believe that during those 10 days, they were there praying, they were there worshiping God and asking God to give them guidance, give them the courage to stand tall because they're going to be tested at the end. But listen, something, it is very funny how the world wants the best of us. And we don't want to give God the best of us. And when we are young, there were children, you know, they weren't men and they weren't big men because I believe that they were mostly males. During that time, they taken into captivity. They want to mold them. They want to teach them the ways of the, the, the Babylonian system. But they put it in their heart. Listen, I am not going to defile this flesh. I'm not going to defile this body because this is the body that God put his spirit in. This is the body that God invests in. So listen, I am going to take care of this body because what I have this in this body, the world don't have. And I cannot afford to give what I have to the world. I cannot afford to show the world the things that I have inside. They're going to take, they're, they're going to try to see if they can take it away. But I'm not going to show them that part of me. When God wants to show them what he can do through me, that's when they're going to see it. I'm not going to reveal myself to the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am not going to reveal myself to the devil. And the thing that, what they, what they did was to take the young ones. They were children. I believe they were like 13, 14, thereabout. They weren't men. But Daniel, being a 13-year-old little boy, 
I'm just assuming his age because a child run from about five, zero to 12. But they decide, I love these four boys and every day going to school, I always read, read this scripture because I say to myself, I want to be like these boys because they are special. They are special. Hallelujah. And so the devil want them fresh and green because during this time, you, you don't really know about the world. You don't know about the world. So your clean state, the devil want to write on it. You want to put all that is negative on it. Hallelujah. And being in a system where you're not going to know, you're not going to learn about the true and living God. So God is so good that these boys were able to change what the system put down to, towards them. They were able to change something. They stand. They stood tall. Hallelujah. Throughout the years, Daniel never, he never gave up on God. Hallelujah. And so it is for us today. Don't give up on God. Because as far as from Genesis, God has been good. Even up until now, God <laughs> has even gotten greater. Hallelujah. And so we're going to give up what God has in store for us just to taste what the, the, the king is offering at his table. No. We should not because God have the better and the bigger plan. Hallelujah. 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 So today I'm just encouraging you to stand tall. Give God your best. Young boys and young girls, old men and women, because in the sight of God, we are all children. And so don't let the world hold that. Don't let the world steal your virtue. You have something inside of you that God wants to use, especially when you're young. When you're young, you have the vigor, you have the strength, hallelujah, to take on righteousness. So don't wait until you're old and cold and you want to. Not that, that, that you can't serve God at that time, you know, but it impressed God when you're young. Hallelujah. When you're young and beautiful and the devil can't touch you because your, your mind is centered on God. Hallelujah. Your mind is centered on God. And you say, listen, although I am young enough, I'm going to trust God. I'm going to worship God. Listen, the devil is coming, with, coming up with a plan, you know. But guess what? I am going to pray and I'm going to ask God to guide me. Because when they see me going down the road, they must say, listen, don't even try. That is a son of God. That young lady, she trusts God. That your old men and women, they trust God. Let us be a part of a union that love and cherish God. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't give up what you have. Because these boys, they did not give up. In chapter 3, the, the three Hebrew boys, they did they, 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 they purpose. From the beginning, you know, these boys are, I call them purpose. Because no matter what the devil throw at them, they were able to stand tall. So the devil wants you when you're young, fresh, and green. Yeah. Hallelujah. You want to take away everything that you have. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I just want to <clears throat> read a verse. My special verse, as I always read this um, scripture. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And it reads, number, verse 12. Prove thy servant, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us fowls to eat and water. You believe that, yes, meat is good, but they request something out of the ordinary. They did not want to contaminate themselves. Because in the Hebrew tradition, you know that they did not eat any and anything. So being in, 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 a, in captivity, they want to eat something that they, they knew about. They knew about this. And they know that the food 
that Nebuchadnezzar is dishing out those food they were offered up to idols. You don't want to, if you know that something is offered up to idols, you don't want to consume it. No, if you did not know then, but you knew, you know, so you don't want to partake of it. And even, <laughs> even when the, the master, the, 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 the eunuch, the servant of the eunuch, he said, listen, you're going to get me into trouble. But Daniel was so humble. He was so courageous that even in the face of adversity, he's going to ask a grave question. Give us pause. This is what we want. And prove us 10 days. 10 days. And listen, those that eat off the, 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 off the king's table, they, they look nothing like these boys who were eating pulse and drinking water. They believed that what they were having, because it is a privilege, you know, to eat at the, 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 the king's table. But they knew that they're not going to defile their garments. They want to be spotless. They want to... Thank you, sir. They want to take a stand. Standing tall like the three Hebrew boys. So little boys and girls, old men and women, when you go out, stand tall for Christ, no man. Let them, so if any, in, any, in any case, let them run to you because they know that you're a child of God. And throughout this scripture, throughout the, the, the scripture, <clears throat> Nebuchadnezzar is often faced with some terrible vision. And who did he call? He called upon Daniel, sent for Daniel, hallelujah, because he knew even though he, even though he were trying to manipulate them, you know, he knew that they served the living God, the true and living God. And if you, if someone know that you, you serve the true and living God, and then you're going to turn around and worship them, what are you saying? What are you telling them? You don't believe. And so if you stand up for God, others will stand with you. If you stand up with God, they will stand with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So today I encourage you, stay with Christ. Don't give up. I just want to read this. Three years of training. Three years of training them. Nebuchadnezzar. Their purpose. The purpose of the food, name, and education was straightforward. This was an attempt to trick them. Because, you know, food is very good at tricking. When you use food, you know, you can command the masses. Amen? So this was an attempt to totally indoctrinate them, brainwash them, so that they forget about their Jewish tradition. Their way of worship. He know that the Jews were stiff naked people. So he want to try these set. But God set aside four. To show that listen. There is a God in Israel. There is a God to be served. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Unquestionably. Nebuchadnezzar wanted to communicate to these young men. Look at me for everything. So he provided them with food, education, shelter. But they didn't want that. They have something inside that they were living off of. They were feeding off the spirit of God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Daniel and the three Hebrew boys refuses, refused, insisting that they will look to God. Hallelujah. So... Nebuchadnezzar, he wants to change their identity. So little boys and girls, young men and women, the devil first, he wants to change your identity. He wants to bring you into a system that you no longer want to serve God. You no longer want to worship God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Then they will feed you with the food of the world. Hallelujah. They are not going to give you what God 
put down for you. you know, they're not going to give you something that is contaminated. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And then they're going to indoctrinate you. They're going to educate you. But not in the word of God. They're not going to say, Jesus, keep He's safe and He's satisfied. No. They're not going to do that. But they're going to give you something that is close to the truth. Not true. Yes. They're going to give you something that is covered with milk and honey. But inside, it is poisonous. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They will educate you in the way of the world. So when you go to school, young boys and girls, you're going to see everything. You're going to see the apostolic union, you're going to see the seven day union, you're going to see every union and they're going to put it like as if, oh you can come you're a Christian, you can join on but listen, it looks like the truth but it is not the truth so listen, today I am imploring you to stand tall be the change hallelujah, be the change in your family hallelujah don't give up on God because he has never given up on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today, don't let them change your identity. Refuse the food that they're giving you. Whatever they're putting before your eyes. Listen, tell them that, listen, I don't want that, that you have, don't, um, that you set aside for me. Give me something else that you have not yet contaminated. I want something different. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And whatever you're going to be teaching me, if it, is, if it is not in line with the word of God, I don't want to hear it. Hallelujah. So today, take heart. Be strong. Be courageous. And stand tall like the three Hebrew boys. God bless you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Sister George and Sister Kendra did not plan together to give us this lovely word. And so one is saying we, are should, we should stand tall just like it's three Hebrew boys. And the other is saying let us put on the whole armor of God. Because without the whole armor of God we cannot stand. Give God thanks and praise for his lovely words of encouragement. And we give him all the glory, all the honor. Going to be 
prayer in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He took my sins away. He took my sins away. And keep me singing every day. sins away. What a great God is our God. Hallelujah. Because sin is the biggest problem. Sin is the biggest disease that haunts mankind. And Jesus knows our every weakness, knows our every care. And so he took our sins away. Thank God. Hallelujah. That he takes my sins away and he's still taking sins away if you would come to Jesus Christ today he'll take your sins away he'll take your sins away hallelujah hallelujah what a great God a sin removing God a God who can bring us the spirit of restoration and bring us back into our relationship with him. Hallelujah. The God who takes sins away. We thank you, Jesus. We're here this afternoon to pray for those who are at the altar. There's also a prayer request that um, I have in hand. Amen. Sister Donna Newton. Evangelist Newton is not feeling well. She's asking for prayer. Um, Sister Jennifer is asking for prayer for herself and her family. Sister Jennifer Morgan. Um, Brother Everton Morgan is also requesting prayer for himself and his family. And just, I think, yesterday or the day before, one of our um, sisters at the Kendall Shiloh Apostolic Church, we understand um, her mother went missing. We understand she came in from Trinidad into the airport in Kingston and somehow she has a lapse of memory I understand and she walked out of the airport and was picked up by a, um, a car unknown to everybody and she has been missing since. That's the type of country that we live in. She has been missing since. No trace of her. Hallelujah. But we know that our God is the prayer answering God. We pray. Hallelujah. And God, send deliverance. Hey, Daniel prayed three times a day. God, send deliverance. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly. Hey. Jesus. And we could ever think or ask of him. We come in the name of Jesus. Come on, church. In the name of Jesus. We're at the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey. Every force. Hey. Every power. Hallelujah. The Babylonian power. Come on, a subjection. Jesus. 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 Hey. Thou son of David, have mercy. Hallelujah. Even thou, Lord. 
reproach your mercy seat. Hey. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Lord. You can break the yoke. Send right now. Yeah, Lord Jesus, your investigative eye. Yeah, Lord God. Wherever, amen, Sister Thorpe's mother is. Search now because you know nothing is hid from you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen to our cry. Hey. The devil, Lord God, wants to steal somebody's joy. In fact, the devil believes that he's a victor. Hallelujah. Hey, Lord, Messiah. Hey, Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Hey, we smite the tempter and the cheekbone. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hey, Lord Messiah. Yes, Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus Thank Christ of Nazareth. Jesus. Hallelujah. That even now Satan and his hosts might yes, give up, Lord. Lord Jesus. Hey, yes, Lord. your children and your daughter. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, hey, from the stronghold. Jesus. And set Thank them free Jesus. right now. We pray for relief. Wherever that woman is now, Lord right, God, we ask, Lord oh God, that it, she might be well. She might be well, she might be well, she might be well. Ever! And be delivered in the name of Jesus. Remember these persons who are not feeling well, I pray for them in the name of Jesus, that their healing right now will be complete. In Jesus' name. Lord, look at the altar now. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus, touch those who are at the altar. Touch them, touch them, Jesus. From the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. We pray now for the spirit of deliverance on their life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless them, Jesus. Heal them, sickness and diseases. Yes, bring them into fellowship. Cause their lives no Lord. To be fully Jesus, armored and protected. You, Lord, we place them before you right now and pray for deliverance and healing. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Touch them now, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Pray, God, you may bless them, dear Jesus. That they do, oh God, can share, oh God, the dropping of your word. Lord, we place everything before you, Jesus. You know every situation, dear God. You know every condition of each time, dear Jesus. Oh God, we are weak, but we know you are strong. And Lord, we will hold with your mighty, powerful hands. Oh God, even those who are God far and near, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our community, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, it shall be set up boiling, oh God. We place everything into your hands, dear Jesus. Thank you for your word. Thank you for encouragement, dear God. Thank you for everything, oh Hallelujah. God, that has been spoken and done here today. God, it's asking for the old ragged cross, dear Jesus. Where would we be? Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you've done. Oh God, the altar we place it before them, Jesus. Blessing Hallelujah. Today, Those who could not make it today. Hallelujah. Dear God, Hallelujah. We place them before you, dear Jesus. Give the shot in prayer, God. We place them before you. Bless and sanctify, oh Thank God. You, Jesus. Those Thank who are you, here Jesus. and those who could not be here. Bless and sanctify each and every one. As we place everything in your hands. Give the children their strength, oh God. We put them before you, dear Jesus. Continue to bless and sanctify. Keep and guide and protect. And I pray and tell you thanks. Jesus, name. In 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 Jesus
mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. at this time in Jesus name but before that let us repeat the benediction now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the love of God the Father fellowship of the Holy Spirit the comforter rest remain abide with us all now and forevermore until Jesus comes again let all the people say and the Lord bless you Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Um, just giving God thanks for his goodness and his mercies. Thank him for the, a day well spent in his house. Thank him for the words that we got from our speakers. We just want to give honor and praise to the mighty God. We also want to acknowledge our visitors who are online, who are worshiping with us today. Some were mentioned earlier, but the others we just want to mention you and say how happy we are that you chose to worship with us today. You could have gone anywhere. If you search the internet, you could find hundreds and hundreds of services to join. But you chose to join ours and to worship with us. And we are thankful for that. And we pray that your souls have been blessed and that you got a word that will keep you through the rest of this week. We want to acknowledge Bertram Brooks, Brittany Davis, Sarja Wallace, Keisha Ellis, there's a Bishop Hugh Dalibu, I, I want to think Sister Georgia may know that person, we just want to welcome you, Sharon Powell, Tara Richards, Chodian Douglas, Natisha Williams, Beverly Johnson, Hilary McKenzie, Royana Morgan, and I'm sure there are other persons who we did not pick up, but we know you are there worshiping with us, and we just pray God's blessing on you, and we pray that you continue to serve him and live for him. And those who have heard the word, if you have not yet accepted the Lord in your life, today is a good day to do so. Amen? Today is a good day. You have a good opportunity right now to accept him, and you can just choose to serve him today before it is too late. Um, 
And I would just like to say, if you are abroad or you want to contribute to our work here, then you could do so using our cash app, which is dollar sign Malton Shiloh Apostolic. All right? So you could contribute to our work here if you want, if you so desire. We also have apology from Sister Donna Newton. She is not feeling well today, and she's not here. And it's very hardly that she's not at church, so you must know that she's not well that she's here today. We just, well, we have prayed for her, and we believe God answers prayer. We also have apology from Sister McLean. She was unable to make it today. Evangelist Lewis, his daughter is in the hospital, and uh, so he was unable to be here today. I believe he's gone to see her at the hospital. And so we just want to bear her up in our prayers as well and the family. All right? And for all those who did not get to come today, we just want to pray God's blessing on your life. Um, other announcements? Next week, Sunday, Goshen Shiloh Church will be having their rally. And uh, um, we have the, the Zoom link. I guess it will be posted in the, in, the tru, in the group later on. Also, reminder that our fundraising concert is coming up, whether it is in-house or it is online, but we are preparing for our fundraising concert the 30th of January, 2022. As long as the Lord tarries and he lends us breath, we are intending to have our concert and I hope the families have been doing their best. You have started working, and you'll just pick up the speed. You know, December is almost finished. January is just around the corner. So please work as hard as you can. We have a job to finish, and we want to finish it. Amen? So please, families, work as hard as you can. Um, it is customarily that we have our choral service, and uh, the youth department is planning on having choral service the day tentatively is the 22nd of December that's a Wednesday evening but we will get you'll know for sure what we are planning to have choral service and if you have anything that you could contribute we're not going to be pressuring anybody because time is hard things are rough and everything but if you have anything that you contrib can contribute we're looking at soup cake sorrel sandwich, biscuits, ice cream. If you have anything you can contribute, if somebody has sorrel and you want to give it, I could draw the sorrel and prepare it. But, all right, so anything you have, you can contribute. Please let us know. Otherwise, we will have to sort out what we need for the function, all right? So please, that's for choral service tentatively Wednesday, December 22nd. Bible class will be on Google Meet on Tuesday night at 7.30, so please be sure to join our Bible class, all right? Sister Jennifer sends her greetings, and, well, you heard about her prayer request already. And we also just want to say happy belated birthday. Happy belated birthday to Sister Cindy. She had her birthday yesterday, and I believe RJ had his birthday recently. Well, we have two RJs, so that is RJ Reed. He had his birthday recently, and so just want to say happy birthday or happy belated birthday to them, and may God continue to richly bless you. All right, God bless you much, and I guess I could say, on our, let pastor say. Praise Jesus, um, Sister Chana, say, I'm to say thanks for the anniversary greetings. So. On behalf of us both, thank you very much for your outpouring of love and your support all of these years. I love you. We love you. And you're our children as big as you are, your children. And you have been good behaving children for the most part. And I'm happy that God has um, blessed me and given me the opportunity to serve, um, give, given us the opportunity to serve in Malta. And it's not... It's not where I would want to be, but it's where God puts me and where he puts me. I'm going to behave myself there. And so we, I keep saying I, and it's not supposed to be I, so we are grateful that we could serve you. God bless you. We love you as much as you love us and even more. Amen. 
praise God. Um, I, I just want to add to the announcements. I had forgotten to ask the secretary to write this down. Um, Sister Scott asked us to greet you and to tell you that she's in Cayman for a short time with her daughter, um, Sister Scott. And also, I think Sister, um, Sister Norma, Sister Norma Mo is Morgan? Sister Norma is Morgan, Planta Morgan. Sister Norma is overseas, she has left. So she has asked us to, um, to let you know that she is in Curacao, I think, for a, um, a little while with her daughter. All right, so she has asked for us to continue to remember her in, in prayer, and I'm grateful for these um, persons who can go overseas and still remember their parents and give them a little break from everything, you know? Give God thanks for those, amen? And so, children, hold up your head and get the little opportunity to travel overseas so you can, you know, give your mother a break, right? And, and your father too, but mostly the mothers, all right? God bless you. Just hold up your head and do well and go overseas. Go, go overseas and give them a little break, amen? Even for them have to pay their own fare, but give them a little break, amen? God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Amen, thank you all very much. God bless you. Have a great week, and remember, stay safe, stay well, but most of all, stay saved. Amen. You're supposed to know the story, guys. Please don't just know it, but do it. God bless you. Take the name of Jesus with you.